Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop here. And this particular one is an HP Pavilion X360 13-S101 model. So that's a pretty long model name. So it's known as an HP Pavilion X360, but the 13 stands for 13 inch screen. And the model is an S101. And the last two letters after 101, that's the country code. LA for Latin America, CA for Canada, and so on and so forth. So this one. And in this video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys how to remove your mechanical hard drive from here, how to replace it with a solid state drive. You can purchase a good brand solid state drive, which are Samsung, or you can go with a cheap brand, as the client brought it in today. This is an ADATA or ADATA. 240 gig, but these are really low quality grade SSDs. They are still faster than mechanical drive, but I will suggest you guys go with any Samsung or Crucial brand. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to open it up, how to take your mechanical drive out and replace it with an SSD, or if you want, you can replace it with a new higher capacity mechanical drive. All right. Also remember, as soon as you do the swipe between the hard drives, then you will not have any operating system in, on a new drive. So you will need to grab yourself a USB thumb drive and install your Windows 10 on a, your thumb drive. I made a video how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive. I'll put the link in the video description. And I have another video showing you guys how to install Windows 10 on an HP laptops all the hp laptops they have the same way of installing windows 10 so i put those two links in my video description in case you want to install your windows freshly and if you don't know how to all right that's it so let's get into it first thing first you want to power off the laptop completely then you want to flip it upside down this one is broken corner so i think they dropped it or something broken hinge right over here all right, once you flip it upside down, you're going to see a few screws. All the screws that you're going to remove on the bottom cover, it's the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching those. You need to grab yourself a screwdriver set. I uh, always suggest you guys grab the iFixit screwdriver set, as they have one of the best bits out there. These are S2 class bits. We're going to be using Phillips number one. Also, you will need an opening tool. You can get the pro set of this screwdriver. I will leave the link in my video description. Or you can simply grab yourself a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick are really suitable to opening in covers, plastic, cell phones, everything else. So these are really tough and soft edges. It's really hard to scratch. All right, that's it. Down here, uh, there's a rubber legs in here that is missing. It's fall down. Under the back two rubber legs, there's a one screw under each. To remove them, grab the opening tool, stick it under the bottom. And there's a little adhesive. This one is actually really gone. You can put a little bit of double sided tape here. So lift up the rubber round rubbers at the back by the hinges. You don't need to remove the front ones. And the one in the back here, there's a little plastic cover just like this one. You can remove them. There's one right here that is fell off already. These are just the cover. Pretty much everybody loses them. Has a little adhesive to them. All right, now that we have all the screws exposed, we're going to start removing all the screws going round and round. Also, I realize there is only 1% of my viewers subscribing to my channel. If you guys find my content useful and helping you guys out, and if you want to support the channel, you can just do click that like button and subscribe to the channel. I will greatly appreciate it. And it will be a tremendous support to the channel. Once we remove all the screws, now what you need to do is to grab the laptop and open it up. And you want to stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover just like that. Or you opening tool and what you want to do you just want to twist it towards the outside and do this every few centimeters every two or three centimeters just keep twisting and work yourself around on the right all the way to the back corner 
same thing on the left side once you did this side now you can grab it from the front and just wiggle it around a little bit and go ahead and lift it up let me make sure i didn't miss any screw nope oh yeah i am sorry but i did miss a screw i forgot to tell you guys about it there is a uh, two hidden screw under these two little rubbers here you need a little pokey thing to just lift up this rubbers right here these are the thicker rubbers so go ahead and remove these thick rubbers too and there's a uh, two more screws one under each again they're the same size so i totally forgot about those all right now we're gonna go ahead and continue with opening it so once you remove uh, you loosen up the sides and the front go ahead and lift up from the front wiggle it around a little bit and lift it up don't yank it up because there's a little ribbon cables right here flex cables we need to remove this flex cable to remove the flex cables it's let me kind of hard for me to show it to you guys for a trackpad this one over here you want to put your finger right at the back this black cover and lift it up 90 degrees just like that and then it slide back the flex cable for the keyboard it's from the other way around from the back side lift it up 90 degrees and then slide the keyboard flex toward the screen and that's how you remove your palm rest the hard drive is right in front of you here. This is an HGST, which is a Western digital brand. They bought them brand uh, years ago. So this is your mechanical drive. It's being held down by a caddy, which is a rubber uh, silicone right ar all around it. And there's a connector right here. First, you want to remove the connector by f lifting up this black cover 90 degrees upward and lifting up and uh, pull out the flex cable. Now you want to grab your opening tool. You want to stick it to the sides and just go ahead and lift up this uh, hard drive. Now you need to remove the adapter. Don't yank on the flex cable, they are really fragile. Just grab the adapter by the neck and just remove it a little bit that side, this side and remove it. Don't pull this plastic thing. It's actually a little bit broken, but it is just a cover on top of it. So pull out the connector. Now go ahead and grab your SSD drive. Make sure the SSD drive had to sit down in the same position orientation. Make sure the power connector and the SATA connector is right facing same position. Now you wanna keep it in the same direction and remove this rubber just by pulling it out. There's a tiny hook that goes to the screw place. Put it to one side, grab the SSD drive. These are the low profile. And there we go. Now once you have this one in, grab the adapter. Put the adapter in. Now what you need to do to bring it down, set it down in the caddy in the place. Just squeeze it right in there. Once you have the hard drive in there, now all you need to do is to grab this. You see that it has a tiny earlobe on the sides. So what you want to do, you want to bring it down in 45 degree angle and then set it down towards the motherboard. And the life, it can make your life really easy. Just grab a tweezers, twist it, slide right underneath. Make sure it goes all the way in. The earlobes has to be inside the jack and then just lock it down. So the lock opens up, you remove, as you can see the earlobes on the sides of the jack, the two tiny earlobes. So you open up the jack, you grab it, you twist it, you bring it down in 45 degree, all the way towards the jack, make sure the earlobes goes inside the jack, and then just lock it down. Now you have that one in there, the next step is walk backward, just grab the top palm rest, bring it here, open the lock for the keyboard, grab the flex cable, make sure it has to go evenly from the back end all the way in, hold it down and lock it in place. Again, the same thing for a trackpad. Slide it in there, lock it down and bring the cover. Now what you wanna do is just pinch the top and the bottom cover, you should hear some clicking. 
that's all you want to hear and then push the back side down the corners everything and that should be all and the last thing would be to just put the bottom screws and the covers on the screws also remember if you want to install the windows i'll leave the link for those videos in my video description again if you guys find this video helpful please click the like button and think about subscribing if you want to support the channel i really appreciate it again thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video just gonna finish up putting up the screws